Okay, so we are finally moved into the new place, guys. Uh, and I apologize for like the delay, I guess, on that. I told you guys I was moving like three weeks ago and only recently we're actually fully moved in. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today is basically like the new studio slash setup, I guess, for the sneaker room and where I'll be filming all of the time going forward. Um, I can't really do like a full on house tour just because Mari doesn't really want to show everybody the house, which makes sense, you know. You want to keep some life private. So uh, I'll actually just take you straight up there right now and show you guys exactly just the sneaker room part. Not a full house tour, but I mean, it's still pretty cool. Okay, so we can actually head upstairs and go take a look at the sneaker room now. This is the stairs to get to the room. And being a homeowner is very, very tough. I got to say that, man. I had to paint like all of these walls and stuff with these high ceilings. It was an ordeal, which is why it took like very, very long to get moved in. It's not easy. Anyway, uh, let me spin this around. So when we head up the stairs, whew, I'm out of breath. <laughs> so when we head up the stairs, standard bathroom. There's like a shower in here, I guess, too, somewhere over there. But yeah, that way I don't really need to go up and down when I'm filming. And then we walk over here, and this is going to be the new setup, guys. Uh, basically, it's like a loft kind of look. So it does breach into the living room a little bit. So you can kind of sneak a peek over there. That's the living room. Uh, but yeah, this is the new and improved sneaker room and I'll take you guys like everywhere bit by bit to kind of go over how the setup works and we can start off in this corner. This is kind of cool. Uh, this is going to be like the new like office slash editing spot. Um, I might do some like commentary video stuff over here, but it's basically like a little nook kind of thing that's like set up over here with like a very dirty desk <laughs> that doesn't have my computer stuff set up. I gotta tell you guys, we're still kind of cleaning and getting a work in progress over here. So yeah, uh, chairs over here. We got the guitar, some stuff to unpack. A lot, a lot of like organizational stuff we need. And then we can come over here. This is something that I've actually really wanted uh, in the room for a long time. It's like a bookcase because I do read quite a bit if you guys didn't know. I actually really, really love reading. So. A lot of books over here. We got that Mookie Bet signed ball, Justin Herbert, mini helmet. A lot, a lot of books though. If you guys ever need book recommendations, man, I got them all. Check those out. A lot of Christian books, a lot of business books, a lot of psychology books. <laughs> I wasn't joking when I say I read a lot. So that's all over there. Of course, we got like these little like figures to kind of decorate a little bit. Supreme Bear. What's good, Supreme Bear? Cause figure, uh, panda thing <laughs> with the Jeff Staple shoe. And then of course, Pikachu cruising over here. And then we can kind of head over here to the rest of the room. There's a lot of like lights and stuff that I haven't set up yet. It's gonna be kind of different because in the other room that I was at, there was basically no lights at all. But you guys can kind of see behind me, there's some pretty good natural lighting. So I really gotta mess with like the settings and stuff on the camera, see what looks good, see what doesn't look good, and kind of like find the best angles to film. So again, it is gonna be a work in progress trying to find like the best situation in here to get the best footage for you guys. Uh, but we're working on it. And like I said, uh, we needed a lot of lights. So we got the ring light over there, umbrella lights. We got a couple LED lights over here, tripods. It, it <laughs> takes kind of a lot actually to film YouTube videos. Uh, we got that guy over there filming. And then we have the closet, which is basically all storage kind of stuff. These are like the old skate decks that we had decorating the walls for kind of a long time. I kind of want to put this one up, the Steph Morris Jordan 1s, but I don't know where it's going to go in the house yet. If we open the other side, you guys can see that we have quite a bit of shoes left. And these are like the long-term hold shoes that I have. Like I told you guys, I have a bunch of Jordan 1 mochas. Those are pretty much all over there, along with some other like Jordan 1s and stuff that I save. I do tell you guys that investing in sneakers is not a bad investment. And this is me showing you exactly how much I believe in it. So there's uh maybe five thousand or so sh dollars worth of shoes over there that i'm just holding long term hopefully appreciating in value and then selling down the road uh but yeah that's all over here in these racks and this is getting added to all the time i think there's like another 20 shoes hidden somewhere too but i'm not sure if we unpack that box yet anyway next up we got the steph morris sneaker i'm not sure if i want to hang this or not i kind of like it just chilling on top of the shoes also, these really, <laughs> really empty sneaker boxes. As you guys know, in the old house, this is where I used to keep my sneaker collection. But now, since I sold a collection to get this place, it's pretty sad. Three, four sneakers and a lot of empty. Uh, anyway, let's move on. <laughs> we got a couple boxes and stuff that we have to unpack. So we have a sneaker haul video and a beater box video coming up. Both of those boxes are there. You guys will see that soon. Uh, okay, and then coming over here, 
this is a pretty cool thing. So we got a couple cabinets that I wanted to get and of course decorated it with like some of the best stuff that represents me and <laughs> I don't know, some pretty cool things. I showed you guys this in the last video. Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams signed Green Bay Packers helmet. Freaking dope. Uh, we got this little cause figure with a bunch of books over here, cause together. Got the Hawaii case with the Hawaii dunks and that UH logo in the back. A subscriber actually sent that, which is amazing. So that's pretty dope. Um, I believe this thing lights up too. Let me, whoo, look at that. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So yeah, it does light up. So yeah, some pretty nice LED lighting in here. And when you close this, wow, still looks pretty smooth, so. I like that a lot. Definitely emphasizes that Green Bay Packers go pack go. Turn that off. And yeah, moving on. Uh, in the middle, we got Shohei Otani signed jersey. Dude, this thing actually blew up in value. So we, had, we ended up having this framed. And we got this jersey sent to us by Pristine Auctions a while back. Signed Shohei Otani. Uh, at that time, I think it was valued at like 300 bucks. Now, because he's in like the MVP race and stuff, I think it's closer to like, I want to say it's like, 1200 bucks or something it went up a lot in value so i've been actually like kind of trying to monitor the sports memorabilia market just because you know the card hype and stuff is so high um so i've been looking a lot more into like signed helmets signed jerseys all of this stuff to see if there's actually price movement and it's not bad i can kind of fill you in if you guys want to hear that video but it's not as good as sneakers so i would rather just stick with the sneaker content because it's the best bang for your buck sports memorabilia it holds value but it's very hit or miss. I wouldn't invest heavily into it at all. Uh, then over here, of course, we got our samurai sword. <laughs> the Mukansa sword, which I spent uh, a lot of money, a lot of money on. That's authentic. Some pictures of the fam. Missing Rio in that shot, but that's okay. Uh, got our two-door watch set up over there. And yeah, just don't mind this at the bottom. <laughs> I have to print out some labels, so that's on there. Uh, moving to the other case, I got some cause figures and also those Nike SB Dunk, the Canaries, those are still popping off. More cause figures and the 100,000 subscriber YouTube plaque, pretty cool. Still one of my favorite things in this room. And then another uh, Green Bay Packers signed helmet. This one is just Devontae Adams though. And of course, a little cause homie over there. So that is the last case. Honestly, really like these cases. It kind of brings the room together for sure. Um, and then lastly, we can check out this bad boy, Tago Vailoa Tua. If you guys don't know who this guy is, uh, <laughs> basically, um, he's the pride of Hawaii. So he's the Miami Dolphins quarterback right now. And when I got this, I got a little bit scared because apparently there was trade rumors where he was going to get traded for Deshaun Watson, which would have rendered this completely moot because then he would have been a Texan and not a Dolphin. So I was like, Please don't do that, and hopefully it doesn't come true. But yeah, anyway, that's a sign to a jersey. Uh, this thing is pretty cool. It's a little bit different than the Shohei. It has dolphins written on the bottom, and then a couple pictures of Tua. That's the boy, and yeah, autograph. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure if this is gonna hold very strong value. I think Tua is only really huge in Hawaii, but if I was to sell it to a local guy, uh, definitely would actually make more money than I paid for it. So. That's why I invest in this one. Also, just a really nice piece in the room. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's basically it in here. Uh, you guys can kind of see the whole shot. I'm not sure how I want to angle this still, but yeah, there will be some additions, some changes that are happening, but I'm almost completely set up so we can start filming the Beater Box episodes again very soon. And uh, <laughs> I guess I should just take this time um, to say uh, thank you to you guys because this is a... Uh, uh, <laughs> getting emotional this is um we we own this you know like I, i've uh when i was living in vegas i moved around 11 times i think as a kid and um even when i moved back to hawaii i've only rented places and i moved around like five or six times since i've been up here for college um but this is the first place that uh like we own this you know like i i don't need to move out i don't i don't have to pay rent to somebody that you know, it's going to pay for their house. This is, this is ours. And, um, and I, I honestly, uh, I, I couldn't have done that without you guys. And you, you know, like I, I don't want it to seem cliche where I say it really is all because of you guys, but all of this, you know, and the rest of the house, this is, it's literally all because of you guys. Um, the people that watch the sponsors that support the channel, you know, the, the times you guys like the videos, the times you guys comment, the times you guys, you know, bring engagement, um, bringing views, AdSense, all of those dollars and stuff gave me the ability to, um, you know, get a house and 
getting a house in Hawaii is not easy. Uh, I think the average median home price is like eight hundred thousand dollars, bro. And it's not for like a mansion or anything. It's 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 not, you know, this is not like a super crazy place, but it's the price of living in paradise. So. Um, you know, I never thought I would be a homeowner. I, I thought I was going to literally be renting until I die because I didn't think that I was going to be able to save up enough money. And if some of you guys watch like all of the videos, you guys know, like <clears throat> just like in 2014, I think, or 2013 in my bank account, I had like $20 to my name and I was like, uh, living off of dollar menu food because that's all I could afford until my next paycheck. Um, it was rough times, man. And so, you know, when we see this place and this house and like, it just really gets me um, grateful, you know? So thank you guys. Like literally, like I could not have done this guys without you. And um, <laughs> when I say I love you guys, I really do mean I love you. So uh, this is the one of the best communities on YouTube, you know, the Untitled Hana. You guys are definitely family. And I, I, I don't know, I'm just very grateful. <laughs> That's it, man. I, I don't want to cry on camera. So thank you guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this like mini like room house tour thing. Uh, there is some really nice stuff coming up and a lot of cool videos. So stay tuned for all of that. Again, thank you all for watching and supporting. I love all you guys behind the camera. And until next time, guys, stay blessed, stay blessed, take care. And I will see you on the next episode. Aloha. Shoots.